Oh my god. Dayton nine one one, where's an emergency? Oh my god, okay, I just witnessed a really bad motorcycle accident. Okay, I'm where? Wait. I need help like immediately. This guy went off in a ditch. I can't get to him. He's down in a ravine and he's face down in the water. Okay, where ma'am? I'm on ten oh eight. Going okay. towards uh Tennessee. Can you see the name of the bridge, ma'am? Um Yes, it is Bowie Creek. Bowie Creek. Bowie Creek. Hold on. It's going to be Bowie Creek. Bowie Creek. Yes. He's on the other side over there, and he's face down in the water. Okay. I told the med unit, ma'am. We got people in route. I have units in route. Okay. Okay. Can you can you still see him? Yes, he's, his motorcycle and him are both in the water. He's not moving. He's he's face down in the water. Okay. Do you see my unit right there? Yeah. Okay. You yeah. have my office. You see my officer right there? Yes, I see him. Okay. I'm a hang. I'm a hang up. Okay. Thank you. Uh, we got a call for a one vehicle motorcycle crash. It had crashed into a creek, and the driver was still down there. Uh, when the call came out, I just happened to be in the area. But all, all three of us were. Yeah. We were all within... I got there within maybe not even a minute, probably. Yeah. And, we, and I think uh, Duos and I were maybe 30 seconds behind you. Yeah. So we get there, and the motorcycle is down. The driver was down, face down in the water. Uh, we immediately, whenever we get on scene, we immediately go down in the water. I was trying my best to hold his head. He was wearing a helmet, hold his head above the water until I had some help because the bike was on top of him. When we did that, we weren't sure what his state was, but I could hear him making noises, so I knew he was alive. When we got there, we found a motorcycle in the creek along with a, a male subject, Sergeant Seaver, was already in the water. Joe Myers got to the creek before I did on foot and uh, immediately got in the creek. I stayed on the side for the idea of being, I thought the individual was deceased. I was gonna assist in getting both uh, police personnel out of the creek. However, Joe Myers reported the signs of life, and at that point, obviously, all things changed. Lift up. And then get a tourniquet on his leg, because his leg was still bleeding. Mm -hmm. You could see it in the water. And then we just maintained his head out of the water until they could get rescue there with a, a Stokes basket to bring him out. Uh, I guess the highlights of the day was, uh, it was the first time in my life I ever applied a tourniquet to a human being. And second, believe it or not, Service, Sergeant Siebert, along with myself, was actually able to pick up your motorcycle off a man's lower extremities and move it. I don't know if neither one of us could do that again today. I mean, we, you know, we, we basically just showed up and did what we were trained to do. Made sure he could breathe. He was bleeding, so a tourniquet was applied. And just kept his head out of the water and maintained until the people with the right equipment could get him out of the creek. Because the, ba the banks are very steep there. It's a very difficult in and out and without having a litter basket and enough manpower it would have been very difficult to get them up the side. Yeah, we're, we're thankful to have as many volunteers as we do, first responders and firefighters that came to help. I think probably maybe eight or nine guys helped take him out of the water with, with the basket. I'm not usually the type to think things are meant to be, but that mm -hmm. day it was. Mm -hmm. it was. He was meant to make it out of there. Mm -hmm. That's why they, we were in the right area. We just because it was right outside of the city limits. We just happened to be there. We just happened to hear the county call. Yeah. And we're within two minutes, a minute and a half of the location, and where that creek is outside of the city. <coughs> if we'd have been anywhere else in the city. It had been an extended time to get there. Mm -hmm. 
we just happened to be in the right place at the right time to respond quickly. What had kept him stable until we got there, I believe, was his helmet. The, the, yeah, the, ch the chin helmet, guard on his helmet. Mm -hmm. The helmet definitely did its job. I, mean, I think he yeah. probably had yeah. that much space between the water and his nose and mouth. And all because of the front face of his helmet was holding his face up out of the water. It, w it was meant to be. It was meant to be. Adam, you're doing great, buddy. Keep it up, Adam. Yeah. <laughs>